Uh, Hafa, well, here we are again in a somewhat familiar situation. You're the highly ranked guy giving an opportunity to someone that's, you know, a fair bit below you in the top 15. Are you kind of getting frustrated, annoyed with having to continuously go through this situation? Uh, not really. Uh, you could have been, you could have been the number five guy. You could have been the number six guy. I already beat. Well, I, yeah, I beat the number four, the four guy. It was a Marl, Marl's probably number four now. So I beat the number four guys, so, and, and, and hey, here's another fight. You know, here's another challenge. Uh, he, here's another tough opponent that I have to uh, adjust. That I have to uh, uh, beat. You know, and uh, once again. Here, here we are. I feel great. I feel good. You know, I mean, to, you know, we were, we were, um, you know, trying for the for the title fight, which didn't happen at that point. It doesn't really matter, you know. For me, it's either the title fight or or the number one contender fight. I mean, I mean, I wanted a, a higher ranked fight that would probably, you know, make it maybe a main event or a co main event or whatever, like a Dominic Cruz or, or, or somebody to that, you know, somebody to that rankings. Um, yeah, be better, you know, in terms of publicity and, and being a main event on, on, on a fight card or whatever. But he, here we are, and the number 10 guy is good. You know, it's a, for me, it's another fight, and with the win Saturday night, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll you know, will uh, kind of fault me to the to the, to the title contention again. I mean, it's plain and simple for me. I, you know, it, it, it's I'm the most consistent guy, one of the most consistent guy in the UFC right now. I know that. I I don't. I won't change who I am. I'll say it again. I I'm not gonna change my personality. I'm not gonna change my my skill set. You know, going. I am who I am. For a reason, I've been come. I've, I've been successful as far as rankings, as far as uh, a consistent fighter in the UFC for a reason. And uh, I'm looking for for a win Saturday night, and then um, and then let's let's uh, let's chat, you know, with with the officials, with the boss, you know, with Sean, and, and if Dana is around, um, yeah, a, a little bit of, of talk will help definitely. And, and the ultimate goal is to get to the championship fight. Why, in your opinion, are you not getting those big opportunities? I mean, we know how the sport is these days. You know, the, the squeaky wheel gets the grease, so to speak. But you're not going to change yourself, as you said. And I know you're probably content with you know going through that. So, if that you never get those big opportunities because you don't want to you know do those certain things, are you okay with that at the end of the day? Well, I'm doing everything they ask me to do. I'm here now in media. I mean, I, I didn't want to come to this. <laughs> you know, I'm cutting away right now, and, and I'm doing media. I'm talking. Uh, but look. If I'm missing that 30 seconds or that 15 seconds of, of camera time in front of the or after the fight in the octagon, that's not my job. You know, it's not like I'm not doing my job by not trash talking. You know, I'm doing my job. I'm a company man. I've done everything they asked me to do. I never miss weight ever. You know, a win Saturday night will. Uh, I think you will, uh, will credit me again for the championship fight. Uh, whoever the champion might be in you know, August, you know, I, I'm willing to s sit and wait. You know, if everything goes my way on Saturday, I'm willing to sit and wait. And, and I'm excited. I'm excited for this, my opponent, uh, for for the matchup. I'm excited for a lot of things. You know, um, like I said, we're here now. My family is always there to support me. My brothers, uh, you know, the wife here at home. They always they they know my potential. You know, my trainers. They know my potential, and uh, we're here to showcase. You know, being in the first round, being in the third round, I'm here to showcase what I've got. And um, you know, after the fight, you know, let's uh, campaign a little bit, right? That's, that doesn't hurt. You mentioned the championship fight in August. Uh, for you personally, in your best interest, is it a good thing if TJ wins because you could potentially get your trilogy? As to where if Cody wins, they could potentially do a trilogy between Cody and TJ, and that could back your weight up even further. I don't think they'll do a trilogy with TJ and, and Cody being Cody and wins. I don't know. I, I don't care. I don't really care. I, TJ wins. Probably, I probably rooted for TJ to win and we'll do a tr trilogy you know, to make it, make it simple. Yeah. And at the end of the day, for your benefits, the performances that count the most. Uh -huh. So what are you expecting to do against Rob Fonten there on Saturday? Yeah, the performances are very important. That's why I train. 
day and night, and, and, and I make the weight, and I try to improve every fight camp. If it happens early, good. If, if it's a, an outstanding, you know, crazy performance, good. If not, you know, it's, it's, you know I'm looking for a win. I'll adjust to any style, and uh, we're looking to come up with targets. That's the most important.